Good evening. Tonight we're going to do something which is very Maundy Thursday related. I want to read you a letter and just explain about what will happen. Dear Father Andrew, I am pleased to enclose a set of 2012 Maundy money which I hereby gift to St Catherine's Church in hope that they may find use, particular when talking to children about the Easter traditions. I hope that this will be a positive outreach tool in the years to come. You probably can't see at home, but there are four wonderful Monday money coins, which the church has been gifted with. So I just wanted to speak a little bit about Monday money just to give you a little bit of a background. The tradition of the monarch giving money to deserving people goes back to the 12th century, when the king not only gave money, but also washed the feet of the poor, thus recognizing the act that Jesus himself did when he washed the feet of his disciples at the Last Supper. The modern version of Maundy money dates back to 1670, the time of King Charles II, and the coins are essentially unchanged since that time, except to be updated for the image of the reigning monarch. Although we would not recognize them alongside our present coins, they are in fact legal tender. However, they are made of sterling silver and therefore worth much more than their face value. And they are also sought after by collectors. The Charles II set was valued at an antique roadshow of 80,000 pounds. By tradition, the monarch selects an equal number of men and women equivalent to her age. This year, there are 95 coins being given across the Church of England and there are in two, indeed two recipients from the Leicestershire Diocese. And if you look on the Leicestershire Diocese page, you will see uh, the people which I'm talking about. One lady in particular comes from Holy Trinity in Hinckley, who has received the coins this year. Throughout history, the Royal Mint has produced Mondi money, and the Royal Mint is a very ancient organization dating back to the 11th century. It was once housed in the Tower of London where the Mint Street still exists within the tower. The modern Royal Mint is based in South Wales, but still maintains the ancient traditions and produces all the coins of the realm and also military medals and commemorative coins and indeed the medals for the 2012 Olympics. So how come we got a set then for this person? In addition, and by tradition, the Chancellor of the Exchequer holds the post of the Master of the Royal Mint. In a past time, Isaac Newton was Master of the Royal Mint and did actually manage and control its operations. In this capacity, the Chancellor may give a very small number of additional sets of Maundy money to people associated with their production. And our donor was one of these people who was then gifted the Monday money to the church. So in a sense, they are a special set of coins not given to people who have been uh, put forward by their parish priest, but by the chancellor of the exchequer. So we are greatly indebted to our donor and I'm excited at the possibility of going into the local schools and indeed into the local churches and wherever to talk about and get the gift of this Mardi money, but the very act of loving and serving and caring for one another. So thank you to our donor, but also thank you to God for giving us a great mission tool to talk about, something of great worth. <laughs> 